What's up guys, Ruxin34 back, and today we have another 2002, okay, it's not 2002, 2003 tin opening. Yeah, I don't think we've actually opened a 2002 yet, tin yet, so yeah, that's, get, that's gonna have to happen in the future, but 2003, this time it's Blue Eyes White Dragon, this one is extremely expensive, guys. This is a $500 tin, sealed, and I'm just gonna let you guys know, opening this up is a massive neg. Even if we pulled the best card out of all five of the pack, yeah, five packs, $100 per bag basically, in here, even if they graded 10, that's probably the only way we could break even. Blue Eyes White Dragon is in a 10. That's, that would be like close to breaking even. Otherwise, we're going to lose like 400, 500, almost all of our money. Yeah, but I'm doing this because one, I want to open it. Two, I know you guys want to see it. And three, it's going to be awesome. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. But first, the giveaway for this video. Gravekeeper's Chief. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon from DB DB1. We got a Visor Shock from Pharaonic Guardian. And a first edition Fusio Richie. Yeah, first edition, guys, from Pharaonic Guardian. This is going to be an insane giveaway. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know what you want to see pulled and or what other tin do you want to see me open. I want to open the 2002 Blue Eyes tin. So if anybody has one and they want to sell it to me for like not like $2 million, that would be great. So this is going to be a lot of fun. And we're also going to open up a few other packs. By the way, this is the 17,000 subscriber special. We hit 17,000, guys. That's crazy. We only need 3,000 more for 20,000. We're going to open up first edition LOB. We're going to open up champion pack one. And if you saw my YouTube story, retro pack two. So all three of those are going to be in one video, guys. It's going to be epic. Maybe we can even top the 10K special where we open up every pack. Maybe we'll get even better pulls and get a blue eyes white dragon or something like that. So before we do the 10, we're going to open up these. We're going to give ourselves a chance at another 10K. By the way, the 10K is back there. I do have that 10K for sale. So I think I'm going to sell it so we can open up more amazing stuff on YouTube. It's going to be pretty cool. Right now it's on eBay. Who knows? I might have sold it already by the time you see this video or maybe not. So if I haven't sold it, hit me up. I will probably be willing to sell it. Okay. So let's open up these. We have some OTS. We have one dimension of chaos because classic. And then we got a few chances at the 10K. So we're going to go ahead, start off by trying to pull the 10K again. Because even though I'm selling mine, that doesn't mean I don't love it and I don't want to pull another one. <laughs> Number C39. Yeah, S39. Sorry. Dark Arm the Dragon of Annihilation. That's a good start. Okay, let's do our one dimension of chaos. Can we pull something crazy? That would be pretty awesome. Oh, oh, they're turned around this way. Whoops, I'm getting confused here. Assault Blackwing. Ooh, Blazing Mirror Force. We got a secret rare. I've never pulled this one out of docks. I don't think it's too pricey, but that's really cool looking. Check that out. That is really cool. Okay, Yada. Good start already this opening. That's a good sign. We do have some OTS as well, so let's see if we can pull an alternate rare. It seems like every time I open an OTS with a 10, we pull an alternate rare or something crazy like that. So hopefully that'll happen again. That would be great. I don't even know really know what's in this one. Shoot. Shurunai Sun Saga. I can never say this guy's name. Super rare. All right. Another chance at the 10K. Can we do it? I believe we can, guys. I believe we can do it. Specimen Inspection. Okay, that's a secret rare. All right, OTS 7. We can pull the Link Spider. We can pull the, what is it, Herald of Perfection. And what was the other one? I can't remember what the third one is. Fossil Dig. We pull this every time. We always pull this. This is a super expensive, super rare. Super, super. Said super a lot right there. But uh, yeah, it's like nine or ten bucks last time I saw. We seem to pull it like every time. Oh, here we go. Artifact Sanctum. Good Ultra. And a Glacial Beast. Iceberg Narwhal. Okay. Artifact Sanctum, though. That's good. The Blar prices are so low besides the 10k. It's really, it's really killer. Okay. Car Destruction, that's a cool super rare. Let's go with OTS, then we'll go for the 10K one more time before we hop into the Blue Eyes White Dragon 10, 2003, and hopefully get a non-damaged Blue Eyes. Revolving Switchyard, I think that's actually decent. And here we go. Last Battles of Legend, our last chance to pull a 10K Dragon. Well, last chance for now. Fossil Fusion, there we go. It's a nice secret rare. Okay. Here we go, guys. We're about to break the seal. It's really going to hurt, so you might not want to watch. I definitely should not be opening this, but that's pretty much what my channel is all about. I shouldn't be opening it, and I am, so that's just kind of what happens. But Blue Eyes White Dragon, I mean, just check that out. If this had been the promo, guys, it would have been so awesome. But either way, it's going to be awesome. We got Kaiba on the front. 
that is just about as good as it gets. We get one LOB, Metal Raiders, MRL, Pharaoh Servant, and Labyrinth of Nightmare, plus the card. So whew, this is this might be the most painful I've done in a while. Besides opening the LOB first edition box, this one's really going to hurt. Oh, no! I hope you guys didn't watch that. That really hurt. It hurt, but now it's time. Now it's time for the epicness. Also, I can still keep the tin. It's still going to be pretty great. All right. Can the blue eyes not be damaged? That's the question. Okay, let's get that over there. Come on, blue eyes. Don't be damaged. The tin is actually in really good shape. I should, definitely should not have opened this one, but you know how it goes. Okay, here we go. And yeah, they don't have the old Konami logo because they are 2003. We have opened a couple other 2003. We opened Jinzo. We opened Gear Freed, I think. Is that it? Maybe we open one other one. Okay, here we go. The card is in the back, I think. Oh no, it's stuck. Okay, we gotta get this thing out. Very carefully, guys. All right, let's grab it like that. Let me, okay, how am I gonna do this? Let's go like that. Like this, make this beautiful, beautiful tin. Has been, it's been opened. Okay, let's go like that. Check this card out. Secret rare. It's the exact same as the 2002, but it doesn't say limited edition. Oh, check out the back, guys. Classic 2002 or 2003 tin for you. The back is annihilated, but check that card out. That is beautiful. This one's getting added to the binder. Wow, that is awesome. A lot of people don't like this art, but I do. I like this one better, but this one still looks really good to me. So, Okay, now we're going to get into the opening. No air extra packs like in the Dark Magician Girl 10. Make sure you guys check that out. We did get a nice promo, unfortunately, and not in good shape. We're going to go backwards. We're definitely ending with LOB, so here we go. We're going to go with Labyrinth of Nightmare. I want you guys to be able to see these epic packs while they wait. Wait, what kind of order are these? Okay, yeah, those are right. Okay, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Here we go, 2003 version of the pack. So let's see if we can pull something epic. Labyrinth of Nightmare, I would love to pull a... I don't know if you'd get Magic Cylinder or Gemini. I don't know what the... Uh, if it's hobby or retail, but I would love to pull a secret rare. Or um, how about Dark Necro Fear? Tornado Bird. Okay, we got a Tornado Bird. That's a sweet rare. Shining Abyss. Mario Kutai. The Portrait of Secret and the Dark Door. By the way, guys, I just opened a $500 tin. I'm just letting you guys know that. And you realize that pack was worth basically zero. And this promo is like light play already. So we're not making our money back. <laughs> So I appreciate all you guys watching because it really, I mean, it's the ad revenue doesn't pay for it. I'm just letting you know, but, but it's just, you know, it's about the video and you guys enjoying it, me enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? So maybe we can pull Jinzo out of here and make up for it. Insect barrier. Sp I thought this was shining abyss for a second. I was like, we just pulled that out of the labyrinth of nightmare. Spike bot. Regulation of the tribe. Here we go. Skull Mariner. Can we pull something amazing like Jinzo Buster Blader? Thousand Eyes Restrict. The Fiend Mega Cyber. It's an ultra rare though. I'm taking that. I love this card. I think it looks really good. The, oh wow. Check out the condition on it. Comes out of the pack with all that scuffing on it. Still pretty amazing condition though. I mean still like pretty close to near mint. It just depends on how people care about the scuffing. But centering on it's pretty good. The card looks amazing. We got an ultra rare. I'm not complaining about that at all. And I don't really grade on limiteds too much. I probably would actually out of this 10 but insect imitation so all right we didn't go over that's the goal with these tins don't go over so now from now on we're just playing well not house money we're, we're still negging by a lot but uh now we're playing with uh just trying to get some more foils that's all we care about one more foil that'd be incredible we got magic ruler here guys wait does this say yeah it's magic ruler it still says magic ruler on this one and says mrl but it maybe i think it's maybe it says spell at the top i think that's the thing, 2003 thing Okay, here we go. Relinquish is what we would love to pull. Weather Reporter. Or report. Upstart Goblin. There's a dollar back, boys. There we go. Ceremonial Bell. Darkness Approaches. This one's really cool. Discard two cards from your hand. Select one face up monster and flip it face down. Do not change the battle position. So face down attack. And Spell Binding Circle. Didn't we pull this out of another 2003 tin? I think we pulled Spell Binding Circle before. That is super cool. Check that out. And by the way, yes, it does say spell card instead of magic on the top part. Wow. Ultra rare. We pulled two ultras. This tin is on fire, guys. Double ultras out of five packs. 
Plus an upstart goblin. Oh, wow. This is really paying off right now. Performance of the sword and magical labyrinth. Okay, two packs left. This is where it counts, guys. This is where the big pulls happen. Metal Raiders. You can pull Gate Guardian. You can pull Summon Skull. You can pull what else? There's a million different things. Time Wizard. You can pull uh, Mirror Force. You can pull Solemn Judgment. You can pull any of the Gate Guardian pieces. And I'm still forgetting like multiple other great cards. Uh, Barrel Dragon. I mean, this the Ultras in this set are just loaded. Other than, of course, you know, the classic uh, Seven Tools of the Bandit. And what's the other one um, that I always pull? Magic, uh, what's it called? Magic Jammer. Okay, Castle of Dark Illusions, of course, the classic nine, 920 and 1930 defense and attack. Crazy. Roaring Ocean Sea Snake, that's a cool fusion. Hibakime, that's a cool card. Sangan, if you're going to pull a rare, that's one of the best. Sangan or Wish of the Black Forest. So that is a pretty cool rare to get out of Metal Raiders. That is amazing. One day, guys, Metal Raiders First Edition box. If I could find one, but I don't really know anybody selling one. Lady of Faith. Lady de Fe. Oh, I forgot. We didn't get a Pequeno Moth. No. No Pequeno Moth. Metal Raiders. That's killer, guys. We need a First Edition Pequeno Moth. Like, open English version. That'd be crazy. Okay, final pack. Whew. Legend of Blue Eyes. We could pull Blue Eyes White Dragon. We could pull Exodia. We could pull Red Eyes. We could pull Dark Magician, guys. We've always pulled Dark Magician, but I would love to pull another one. This could be crazy. So here we go. This pack's actually super wide. It's wider than the other one. It's really weird. So hit the like button for luck, guys. Make sure you guys share this video. So we can get to 20k even faster and see more craziness. That'd be pretty awesome. Okay. Here we go. Nimi Ruko. He's sucking on the phone. It's kind of a weird card. Sogan. I always just love this card. I think it looks really cool. Just a very just a plain. Looks cool. Mystical Sheep number two. Tripwire Beast. Okay, guys. If we're going to hit a hollow, it'll be the next card. Can it be a blue eyes to go with our blue eyes? That would be incredible. Spirit of the Harp. Just a regular rare. We are going to sleeve it anyway, though. Because it is Spirit of the Harp. And it is a rare from LOB. Original. Not 2002, but 2003 print. Hinatama Soul. Armail. The 13th Grave. And Yurabi. So, pretty awesome 10 i cannot complain about that we got an incredible rare pull of sangan and upstar goblin and common so those were good not too many good commons in old packs so it's pretty cool to get one good one we got two ultras the fiend mega cyber and spellbinding circle and the blue eyes white dragon guys that was awesome that was fun blue eyes white dragon 10 from 2002 i hope you guys did enjoy it we're gonna do more crazy stuff in the future and hopefully you guys will be watching and enjoying it. So make sure you guys share the video. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yeah. Oh, Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom!